So, the Elk Project, uh, part one. Um, yeah, what is the Elk Project? I, I got an elk tag this year, and uh, suffice it to say, I am alone. I don't have anything. I am brand new at this as well. I mean, I'm a novice. Um, green is grass, and I need to know how I'm going to get the elk out by myself. I mean, is it? possible it's you know i'm going into the forums and i'm not finding the answers that i'm looking for and so that's why this project was created the elk project was created to answer you know the following question uh, can an average sized individual haul out an entire elk by himself or is it just too big i mean it's i'm going out in these forums and i'm seeing numbers that are all over the map I mean, it's crazy what I'm seeing. You know, there's guys that are saying, oh, you know, we pulled this elk out and it was 800 pounds. And I'm saying to myself, holy cow, 800 pounds? Is that seriously? I mean, you're pulling out 800 pound elk. Is that true? If that's the case, I can't do this. Is, I'm, I'm going to be out of my mind. And so, uh, you know, this... This project is obviously through the eyes of a novice. I mean, a novice is probably even an understatement. I mean, it's I'm brand new at this. I mean, the only big game I ever hunted was deer, and I've shot two of them, and that was over 15 years ago. And so, you know, I'm really interested in knowing what the data is and what I can do about the data and whether or not it's even feasible to do this. So what I did is I went out, uh, there's three studies that I found. One was Wyoming, Colorado, and Oklahoma State's the third. Um, <clears throat> because what I found is in the forums, there's just not enough information. And it's fuzzy, and it's kind of a he said, she said, and well, we didn't quite wait on the scales. And, you know, in, in one forum, the guy swears that it was a 900-pound elk, but they had been dragging it for, you know, they've been dragging that thing for three hours, and anything you do <laughs> over an extended period of time the weight's just going to get heavier and heavier i mean i would imagine that if you drug it for six hours it would have turned into an 1800 pound elk it, it just it just didn't make sense to me and so uh you know the wyoming study uh, we'll begin with that one you know the wyoming study i really like it they they go into the elk carcass uh and they do bulls and cows and it really is nice they they take the weight you know, the, the whole live weight of a number of different bull elk and a number of different cow elk, and they really break it down. And and they break it down into a number of different categories, which has been really helpful. And what I like about this one is that this study is by far the most detailed out of the three that I have. Um, the other two, which you'll see, uh, they're, they're just not so much. And so... <clears throat> You know, what you're seeing here is, you know, their weight factors for field dressed weight, whole weight, and what you can multiply those by to get um, just the numbers that they have computed, you know, boneless lean, skin carcass weight. Um, on this next slide, I really like this. This this information is really valuable. I mean, one thing you'll notice on here, though, is, you know, the 700 pound elk, he doesn't exist. At least not in their study. I mean, maybe 700 pound elk do exist, but for the record, I mean, they're looking at all kinds of animals. And, and you'd think in Wyoming, they, you know, they'd grow big elk. There's a lot of land there, not very many people. You know, you'd think that the chances of getting a bigger elk in Wyoming would be better than in other areas of the U.S. Um, you know, on here though, you know, you've got, you know. 540 pounds and four and 394 pounds on a cow and you know and that's on a 10 and a half year old animal i mean 10 years that's an old elk oh man um but once again like i've said before what i really like about this is it does tell you the weight according to the age of the animal i mean that how valuable is that? You know, when you drop an animal and you want to know how old the cow is or how old the bull is, I mean, you can take that age and you can back into, or, or you can take the weight and you can back into the age. You know, if you take an elk to the processor and it's been cleaned up, 
you know, and you know you're getting around 92 pounds of meat, well, you probably have a calf. <laughs> you probably would know that anyway when you shot the animal, but, you know, just to make sure that's what you end up with on a bull. Uh, really good information. They have a lot of good tables in the Wyoming data. I really like it. Uh, they, they go into some other things, too, in the Wyoming data. You know, it's, it's you know, muscle temperature according to hours in the cooler, the animals they tested. You know, they did six cows and six bulls. The rest of their data comes from phone surveys that they did, if you read the report. And, and it's kind of short. I mean, it's really only five or six pages long, but has all kinds of good information on it, you know, on aging interval and whatnot. Uh, so I really do believe this data. It I put my trust here. That That's good stuff. This one is the Colorado study. The Colorado study involves more animals than just elk, and they're really interested in cleaning. I don't know that they're necessarily interested in the numbers, but it was the second one that I was able to find. <clears throat> you know, I've got the link up at the top. It's through, it's through Colorado State uh, on their website. So, you know, college. Is it believable? Well, I'll leave that up to you. You know, here's their numbers. Uh, like I mentioned before, they have multiple antelope or animals. They've got antelope, mule deer, but lo and behold, here's their elk. Uh, one thing you'll notice, though, immediately is that, you know, we're, we're obviously missing that age factor. You know, you don't know how old these elk are, uh, and that obviously affects their weight. <clears throat> The uh, one thing that I do find interesting about this, though, is once again, we're not seeing 700-pound elk out of the Colorado study. It's just it's just not there. And so it seems to suggest that the weights are a lot lower than that, you know, or so you'd think until we get to the final study. <clears throat> so 735, I mean, that's that's a big animal. I mean, if they're that big, there's no way I could haul out an animal that size. I mean. Even the cows, you know, you look down here at the cow elk, I mean, 582? Oh, man, that's a big animal. I mean, you know, granted, it's not the 700 pounds, but, you know, 500 pounds, phew, that's still big. That's huge. I mean, is it possible for one guy to even take something like that out, you know, in one trip? That's what I'm talking. I'm not talking quarter it up. I'm talking haul it out. You know, gutted, obviously, but... uh good grief, you know, 300 pounds, whew, can I handle that? You know, I don't know. Uh, this is the study continued. Um, they go into location, which is kind of nice, um, but you begin, to st you begin to start to question this 1960 study, or at least I did. You know, if you look up here at the top, it seems like they are referencing, you know, as recorded in literature, what does that mean? You know, are that is that somebody else's study they're referencing? We we don't really know. Uh, documentation has definitely increased in quality over the years, and so um, it makes me nervous to trust that. Um, nonetheless, you know, we look at this. Wow, look at Missouri. Montana and Yellowstone. There they are. We've got three areas claiming that bull elk get over 700 pounds. That is crazy. And in Jackson Hole in Wyoming, 600. Now, this definitely conflicts with the last two papers that we looked at. Uh, but have elk just gotten smaller? I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe they have gotten smaller you know, over the years. I, I don't know that. Nonetheless, I know it's a lot of weight, <laughs> you know, it's it's still big, you know, even the cows, I mean, wow, 500 and, you know, 62 pound cow, whew, man, that's huge. So, anyway, that's what we're left to work with. Um, they also go into other data for the uh, animals in the 1960s study, uh, they even measured the ears, I thought that was funny in one of the table. you know, they go into a whole weight. Uh, dressed weight. Some of the other tables have some really interesting measurements. I think they measure the legs as well. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Um, <clears throat> you know, and you'll see some of the same numbers in here. You know, it's they're taking bull weight and cow weight. You know, 730 pounds, three years and older. Whoo, that's the Quimby and Johnson. That's over in Yellowstone, and this study is uh, in Wichita. 
yeah, those those are big animals. I mean, it's, it's not something that you'd take lightly, <laughs> and, and I definitely don't, you know, because I plan on going out alone. This is, uh, I mean, it could turn into a lot of work. Uh, the conclusion that I've taken out of this is uh, I really question the forums. Some of the, some of the numbers the guys are claiming just, I don't know. I don't know if I buy it. You know, two out of three literature searches suggest the bull elk, they don't get over 600 pounds. And those are new, those are newer pieces of data. You know, the 1960s data, obviously, you know, there's some big numbers in there. Um, so I question as to whether or not you'd see an animal that big. I'm not saying they don't. Maybe they do. Um, but I question it. I'd have, I'd more, I'd more, I'd have to see the numbers. I don't know. They, they, they might be out there. Um, but they, but they also suggest the cow elk. You know, you're not seeing those 400 pounds plus animals. They just, you know, they don't just, they don't exist. So that leads us to our next question. You know, now that we know what our target weight is, you know, 400 for a cow and 600 for a bull tops, probably. You know, unless you get some crazy outlier, some huge animal. You know with mechanical advantage can we do this can one guy make it happen you know does time of season matter does the equipment matter does the location matter um how would you do it how would you decrease the weight you know this is my journey to try to figure out if i can make this work and uh anyway in the future i hope that you'll be able to uh or you'll take the time to in join me in a uh, part two titled methods of hauling thank you